Well, you know, it's not very often that I get a chance to um, speak with some of my colleagues, folks from Veeam, I'm ex Veeamer as you guys all know, and some of the guys that took some of my classes. Um, but, you know, I want to take this opportunity to talk about V12. I want to talk about what some of the cool things are and how it's going to integrate and work with cloud in moving forward. So, let me go to the far right. Introduce yourself for us. How are you doing, everybody? Uh, my name is Ben Judd. I am uh, a TPM or Technical Partner Manager at CDW. Um, to my left, I'll let him introduce himself, but he and I both cover the CDW account. Mark? Yeah, absolutely. I'm Mark Mason. I am a Senior Systems Engineer with Beam Software. Uh, historically covered the Sirius account, and because of the merger, I am now uh, partnering up with Ben to tackle the entire CDW account for all of the United States and Canada. Cool. The, the burning question for me. How well has version 12 been received, guys? Honestly, thus far, uh, we are on a daily call, if yeah. not uh, hourly call, going through customer questions, Okay. Uh, pointed specifically around the, the features and capabilities that we've built into V12, specifically mm -hmm. around object storage. Gotcha. Uh, the ability to go directly to object has really been a game changer. It's yeah. really allowed for us to tell the story of, listen, yeah. For years, we've been telling everybody we need to ingest the data locally first and then send it out. Yeah, that's not the case anymore, and that is a huge differentiator when it comes to everybody else in the marketplace. Because we're software first, we're sure. agnostic when it comes to whatever the hardware is going to be. Sure. Absolutely. So, what's the best style? In my opinion, Object allows for massive abilities to protect, offload, yeah. and manage your data in a more efficient cohesive way within yeah. with, within backup. One of, one of the things that I've always shared with my customers, even before I came on board with Cloudian, as you guys know, you know, I was a very big proponent of object storage when I was there, is that now you not only have the best tool to manage your data, and I try to explain that to all my customers, guys, you don't understand how powerful this tool is. Yes, you're going to get that immutable backup stuff, which is wonderful. Ransomware, still alive and kicking. I don't care what people tell you every single day people are writing checks still today because they won't listen mm -hmm. but at the end of the day you know the ability to now move that direct to object there's some challenges no question about it okay still haven't got some sizers put in place we don't really know what the recover speeds and times are going to be but for the fact of you know now I've got an environment where I can take 10,000 tapes at a law office and push that out through tape jobs mm -hmm. and sitting on cloud and storage. You know, what what are you hearing out there? I, I'm hearing it's a it's a great solution. It's it's yeah. perfect for the customers that don't have already a secondary location. Yeah. Uh, especially because you know sometimes they can't afford to uh, either partner with another organization or spin up their own. They have yeah. no need or no use case. And this gives you a perfect opportunity to make sure that you're maintaining compliance. Uh, for a best practice with yeah. uh, with Veeam, you know we have a three two one one zero rule, right? right. Three copies of your data, uh, two different me media types, one mm -hmm. offline, one off site, mm -hmm. right? Um, with zero errors, right? And Cloudian allows you uh, that that secondary location, maybe Absolutely. a secondary copy or tertiary copy at that point, right? Yeah. Everything that we can do using the front end of Veeam that allows us to make those multiple job copies and how things function and managing that data, we can also do that replication in the background with our object storage. And there's so much more to it that we're not going to chat about today that object does. Kubernetes and, you know, all the media stuff, police camera vest, on and on and on and on. But at the end of the day, your data is king. And I can't stress enough to you guys how important it is that you have to have backups that you test, okay? Make sure you can recover from them, okay? And the ability to have immutable things that are there. At the end of the day, if you have an ability to lose business, lose dollars, shut your doors, and you're not doing immutable backups, you're making a mistake for you and your company. And all those you're, you're sworn to kind of protect from the data center environment. And, and Van, to your point, one of the things that I, Mark and I harp on, especially here at CDW, and as well as any customers that we can in, in, in engage with, is it's great that you have a backup software. It's wonderful that we have all these backup, but are they recoverable? Right. Can we get that data back? And is, is it 
Is it time effective? Right. Can we get it back quickly? Because you know as well as I, and you just mm -hmm. stated it, it's about dollars and cents. That's right. How quickly can get businesses back up and running, and honestly, back to doing the day-to-day -day operations mm -hmm. that they were doing before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the smoking hole events that are going to happen, and it may not happen at a place you're working today, but it's going to happen. And that smoking hole event may be today, we had a fire. The firemen came in, none of our hardware got damaged, but the water that went on top of 70 rack servers now has destroyed everything. Well, what am I going to do? Well, if I'm sitting inside of the Veeam interface, I'm going to right mouse click on those backups, point them somewhere else, and I'm going to spin them up. And any place I've got compute, if I've got it in a third party vendor that's there, another data center up in EC2, up in the Google Cloud, it doesn't matter. I now have the ability to continue working, paying my employees, and making things work. But you have to have a place to put that. And why put a second type of storage in place when you can write direct to object that's cheap, it's deep, and we're talking not cheap quality, cheap cost, to bring that information back. It's simple, it's a game changer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And to your point, one thing that, that gets lost a little bit in, in, in the release. Sure. Are the features like the ones we call affectionately the V movers, which is the ability to very cool. To, I'm always such that. Yeah. a cool feature. Yeah. Because the ability to move data from one repo to another, yeah. to migrate from XFS to NFS mm -hmm. or XFS to Rouse. RFs. Oh yeah. Oh my God! It's like it's night and day. It's night and day. In fact, I was demoing the first the first time I did that in my lab at home. I was like, Oh my God! This is freaking awesome. I man. was doing it on a demo for a customer, yeah. and I showed it. I was like, Oh my goodness! That was just a right click away, and now everything's done. Yeah. yeah. Now, when you can do that, when you can have those conversations, sure. and you can say, Maybe we can do other things with this. Right. Maybe we can migrate. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can do those uh, data center to data center, mm -hmm. uh, searching for the right terminology, but basically redeploying a data sure, center absolutely. in another spot. Yeah, data freedom. Thank yeah, you, thank you, data really. freedom, absolutely, mm -hmm. 100%. Uh, and yeah. I think that that is key, especially with our goal of market, which is we want to make sure the data is secure. We want to make sure that it is recoverable, and mm -hmm. more importantly than anything else, we want to make sure that you have data freedom, mm -hmm. that you can go to object. You can go to a cloud inbox, but not only that, you can have a secondary copy out to tape. And now we have those true, in my opinion, the true air gapping yeah, of your backup. No the ability to remove it. it from your data center entirely. Yeah, and the last piece too that I wanted to share with you guys as we wrap this up, and gentlemen, thanks so much for oh, spending absolutely. some yeah, thank time you, with man. us. You know, is that as we continue to move forward in the ransomware environment, okay, insurance companies are not going to insure you unless you can do immutable backups or air gapped. The immutable backup, okay, based on documentation we've read from insurance companies, qualifies as an air gapped tool, okay? Because it's made immutable, it can only be restored from. So thus, now I have the ability to get myself insured, which is probably less than a year, maybe a little bit longer than that. If you don't have ransomware insurance, you're not going to be able to function, yep. you know? Yep. Yep. So to that point, we, we recently had a customer get on the phone with me and, and, and Mark asking that specific question around with mutability, is that a qualify, qualifier yep. as air gap? And yep. I could confidently say, Yes, 100%. it is, and that is key because nobody wants to add additional aspects to their data center that they've already purchased a Cloudian and then Veeambox. Correct. We can set that all up from what you have. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And, and we'll prove it too through yeah. the Veeam Recovery Orchestrator. We yeah. will document all of that, especially mm -hmm. if your environment grows, if your environment changes. We will capture all of those changes with mm -hmm. Veeam Recovery Orchestrator right. to prove insurability and to prove that Cloudian is actually holding up their end uh, mm -hmm. on the immutability side as well. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Just like Cloudian's not a one-trick pony, neither is Veeam. People think of Veeam, and I still get questions today of all the years going, do they back up stuff other than just virtual machines? Oh my God, if it's got data on it, they can back it up, okay? 
But the, the reality of that is, is that we have the ability at Cloudian to make sure that you have those ransom proof immutable backups that are there that are going to seamlessly integrate with Veeam. If you can't find me at Cloudian to help educate you about Veeam, I'll turn you on to one of my colleagues and they'll do vice versa because we work just like this. And there are a lot of object storage say so people that are out in the marketplace today. Ask them the hard questions. We'll have some stuff that you can find on our website that says, hey, can they do this, 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 and this? If they can't, they're probably really not object storage. Be careful, be cautious, but check with Veeam, and we'll do it together for you. Guys, appreciate it so much. Oh, thank absolutely. you so yeah. much, man, for this Yeah, time. absolutely. Thanks, absolutely. guys. Appreciate yeah. it.